charging by induction using a negatively charged object. This time I'm going to charge instead of just an object, I am going to specifically charge an electroscope. Now the electroscope, what I've done is I've drawn in uh, silver and in gold the parts that are conductors. So here is my the, the ball, the rod, and the two gold foil uh, strips that hang at the bottom. They're very, very light. I've drawn them thick so you can see the, the charges. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pluses as normal. Now we're going to start off with it as a neutral. So it's going to have eight negatives on it. And the eight negatives and the eight positives balance out. So these are both going to have the same charge, but they're both going to be neutral. So nothing actually happens. There's no attraction or repulsion. They're both neutral. Now, when I actually take a charged object, so here's a object that right now is neutral. Now let's say I make this object with extra electrons. So this is a negatively charged object. And again, think of it as just a negatively charged object. Nothing's going to change in this. So I take my negatively charged object and I bring it close, but I don't touch it. It doesn't matter if I bring it to the top, side, whatever. Now, these negatives are going to be repelled by the negative charge because like charges repel. So these negatives are all going to go to the bottom to get as far away as possible. E, run away from the negatively charged object. Now here, what you're going to see in the electroscope is this side is now locally negative. This side is now locally positive because this has no electrons. This has a bunch. Now this and this are both negative. So like charges repel and the light leaves will repel each other. Then what you do, you ground the electroscope. You ground it by touching the ball at the top. Now it's not grounded normally, even though it's sitting on a table because this rubber insulator keeps it. So this is essentially floating in an insulator. So when I touch it to a conductor that attaches to ground, there's an infinite number of electrons in ground that can actually, things can go to or things can come from or electrons. So I bring the, the, ne the negative charges close and now these negatives that are trying to get away from this negative, actually because they're a part of earth, they can now escape. It's a negatively charged object, like charges repel. So they're now repelled. I then disconnect the electroscope from the ground. Then I take away the negatively charged object. And what happens is it stays repelled because now this is positive. These will kind of try to balance out still. But, as you can see, it is still overall positive. It has the eight pluses, and now it only has four negatives. The two positive leaves can separate because the two positives, like charges, repel. So when I take a negatively charged object and it charge by induction, I get a positive charge in the electroscope and it shows that it has a charge by repelling.